joining us. Former Blackhawks Hall of Famer Bobby Hall has died at the age of 84. The NHL Alumni Association confirmed his passing today. No other details were released. Hall is cemented in hockey history as one of the greatest players of all time. Our Chris Bowden joining us live to talk about his life and legacy and talk about a guy who had a passion for the game. Chris. Yeah, good morning, Dina and, and Patrick. Appreciate you having me on. And uh, yeah, Bobby Hull in the mid-60s, along with Gail Sayers, uh, they were the ones who carried Chicago sports uh, during that era before Michael Jordan came along, Walter Payton and whatnot. And Bobby Hull scored more than 600 goals for the Blackhawks, probably a mark that will never be touched by another player. He is the first player to ever score 50 goals in the season in the 1965-66 campaign. He went on to do that four more times. And the fact that he still ranks 18th in all-time history, only one current player has surpassed his 610 career goals in the NHL, that being Alex Ovechkin. But Bobby Hull came back as an ambassador after a fractured relationship with the Blackhawks following his departure for the WHA. When the Blackhawks and Hull could not reach contract terms, he went to the fledgling league and started for the Winnipeg Jets. And uh, from that point on until 1983, when he was welcomed back to the Chicago Stadium to have his uniform number retired following the end of his playing career, uh, he and the Blackhawks were at odds. And it was still kind of, you know, a touch and go relationship until Rocky Wirtz. Take, uh, took over the Blackhawks from his late father, Bill, and uh, in 2007, and welcomed Bobby back along with the likes of Stan Makita to become ambassadors for the team. He was frequently seen at Blackhawks games from 2007 on until his uh, health failed a bit in the past couple of years, still making appearances now and then, but uh, it was announced by the Blackhawks just a short time ago, confirming that Bobby Hull, the Golden Jet, has passed away at the age of 84. Chris, he certainly had a, a contentious relationship with uh, Bill Wirtz, uh, notoriously saying that he was just so cheap. So he took that money and he went to the Whalers. But talk about why he was such a special player. Well, back in the day, no one had a harder shot than Bobby Hull. And uh, Chicago took great pride in that when the old Chicago Stadium was packed in the early and mid and late 1960s. Uh, Bobby Hull himself. Uh, I'm I, I'm old, but I'm not old enough to remember his his playing days, especially in his heyday. But Bobby Hull, when he would reflect back, and others would confirm that he would take the puck behind the Blackhawks' own net and start rushing up the ice with a puck on his stick all by himself. And fans at the Chicago Stadium got so excited that they would stand on their feet, anticipating a great play, a blistering shot of more than 100 miles an hour from Bobby Hull, and he did that often enough. As I said. 450 plus goal seasons over 600 goals in the NHL and uh, truly a Blackhawks great and just among the handful of Blackhawks who have had their uh, uniform number retired as I said he came back in 1983 to have that jersey ra raising ceremony along with Stan Makita and you see there on the video that we have that uh, as part of being an ambassador he got a Blackhawks Stanley Cup ring he was a member of the 1961 champions along with Makita and many others. And there was a 49-year drought until the Blackhawks finally recaptured that Stanley Cup in 2010. And as you see, uh, the Blackhawks under that previous ownership had the generosity in making him and others an ambassador to also allow him to have one of those uh, big Stanley Cup rings. But we should say that, you know, his legacy is somewhat complicated because there was some controversy off the ice that came to light after his playing days. He was charged with uh, domestic assault with, uh, from one, with one of his wives. There were other charges that came back in subsequent marriages. And he also made some controversial comments as well to a reporter uh, about Adolf Hitler in years that uh, he claims were misquoted. So uh, it was really, you know, a compromising relationship with the way Blackhawk fans were able to embrace him as an ambassador in his days when he was welcomed back by the organization, but at the same time have to decide how much they wanted to idolize the man uh, in which there was some controversy in his personal life as well. Right. Chris Bowden, thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Uh, and in a statement, the Chicago Blackhawks saying in part that the Golden Jet, quote, helped the Blackhawks win the 1961 Stanley Cup and delivered countless memories to our fans whom he adored. Generations of Chicagoans were dazzled by Bobby's shooting prowess, skating skill, and overall team leadership that led him to 604 career goals, a franchise record that remains to this day. We send our deepest sympathies to the whole family.
I know Rocky Wirtz said when he took over the team in 2007, his number one goal was to get Bobby Hull back as an ambassador, um, which really speaks volumes. We will continue our coverage of the passing of hockey great Bobby Hull throughout all of the day's newscasts and online at WGNTV.com.